down. I feel like we're in a Kurt Vonnegut short story. <laughs> Such a weird, wonderful time in history. I mean, I think even in the beginning, Bernie Sanders was shocked that it, when he finally put down the gauntlet, people just rose up in the millions, millions, with small donations saying, not only do we believe in you, but we have the imagination to believe in the future. This is what separates you all from the so-called pragmatists, so-called, you know, safe people. The direction that this country's going in is not pragmatic. We don't have to go over, you've heard a great description of what Bernie stands for. And what's happened now, and I and I salute all the women here who were all going to be in hell with me. <laughs> because you don't understand the real meaning of what feminism is, and that is the right to choose what you feel, what you believe in, and you have chosen. It's, it's the first time since I've been able to vote that I can actually have a candidate who isn't the lesser of two evils. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, from New York, I supported Hillary, and then the war, lead up to the war came. This didn't seem like a good idea to me and to a number of other people, but it was a very, very difficult, especially in New York, you know, just to see those towers come down. I mean, everybody was so shattered psychologically and confused, and we needed real leadership at that time. And what came about was probably the most significant foreign policy decision that had to be made. And she flunked. Mm -hmm. And she disappointed me. And I was very isolated at that time uh, as a public figure who was questioning the war. And it was a hard time for me, and it was a hard time for my kids. And when I saw Bernie Sanders deliver that speech, it still <laughs> makes me so moved. And from that point on, seriously, he, I was his. <laughs> <laughs> he had me at that speech. Not only was he absolutely right, unfortunately, at every aspect of what he said, but he was so brave to stand there and say that. And how could he be that brave? Well, he could be that brave because his entire life he stood with integrity and with a moral character that has not wavered, has not come 10 years later to, to uh, gay and lesbian rights when it's safe to come out. <laughs> He's there when it counts because his moral compass is true and his courage is true and his ego is small. He is not in this as a politician. He's in this because he does have just one issue, and that issue is us. That issue is the American people in every aspect, be it the environment, be it social justice, be it women's rights, be it, uh, you name it, he's in the right place. And the fact that he has come this far, I think every election that he's gotten elected has been a shock and a miracle to everyone because he's not of them. He is authentic. He's a candidate who is not owned by fracking, Monsanto, uh, private prisons. He hasn't taken money from the Goldman Sachs. He hasn't taken money from the super PACs. And when someone says, oh, well, you know, she's going to play the game, I'm tired of people that are playing the game. He has enlisted us. He has said, don't believe anybody that says they can do this on their own. They can't. The President of the United States needs to keep everyone active. We need to vote in the midterms election. And what he has done is activated everyone. I think it's a very hard thing when you feel disenfranchised not to be cynical. And what he's done is he has brought together people who, again, have the imagination and are ready to work and make this country, take this country back. And it's such a strange thing to see that, you know, people are th talking about being torn between Trump and Sanders. And what do they have in common? Except some crazy hair, maybe. But what they have in common is that they sound authentic. 
They sound like they're not part of the same rote process. They're not, they're not what you've already heard before. The only difference is, of course, that Bernie Sanders has experience and has actual solutions to things. Mm -hmm. And he's talking about that our strength lies in pulling together because we're only as strong as our most vulnerable are strong. When you have... <laughs> Covered the dark, mean, racist pulse that's always been there in this country, but has never been normalized, has never been given the opportunity to seem like a sound a piece of advice. And he has played on that and he's activated that, but there aren't enough people. You can't convince me that the United States of America, that the majority of people feel that way. And so when people say, even though Bernie is ahead in the polls, to beat Trump, if it came down to that, when people say, well, I just don't know if he could get elected, I just don't know. You know, you're buying into a narrative that has been put up there by the establishment uh, press. And that's why people have been slow to understand Bernie, is because nobody was giving him any, any room in the New York Times or wherever, it was always Hillary Trump. The millennials, you know, got on it pretty quickly because they're online and they they found Bernie and they were they knew what he was about. They have a, a a name recognition. But if you give the facts to anybody, if you look at the other voting record, I'm not supposed to be negative. I'm gonna try not to be negative. <laughs> but if you look at the inconsistencies and you look at the political moves that are not grounded in any kind of inner integrity or any kind of consistent uh, earned uh, empathy for anybody. You see that on the other side is Bernie Sanders, who has given us that consistency and who has fought again and again in his quiet way for things that he knows to be right. And this moment in history is not just an election, as you've heard. I mean, this is what is so mind boggling to be in a position right now where you can change the way government works. And the caucus thing is nuts. I was in Nevada and I'm telling you, I've never seen such a mess. I've been told in Maine it's a little calmer, I'm hoping so, but Nevada was out of control and I don't think particularly accurate. There were people with nurses jerseys on that were done taking them off because they weren't really nurses and no. stuff was happening that was very irregular and we're not going to we're not going to make excuses but hopefully when there's a more sane process the the margin will be even clearer because I believe in you and I think Bernie believes in you and I know that you guys can make this difference and what you need to do is just get a big turnout and we can do 